Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today's class is how to mount .iso files. So this is a very valuable skill to have in the modern world. So what are .iso files? Well, .iso files are essentially disk images of optical disks. That's how we normally use them. So if we have things like CDs, DVDs, even Blu-ray discs, and we want to create an exact copy of that disk, we would create a .iso file. Now this was a lot more important back in the old days, like eight years ago when we were all running around with these optical disks, because any number of things could happen to the optical disk. You could lose the optical disk, you could scratch the optical disk, the optical disk could just spontaneously die for some reason, and that really does happen in the real world. And the problem is, is if if that one disk is the only thing that contains a specific piece of software that you need to install onto client machines, then you're going to have a lot of problems. So what we did back in the old days, and a lot of people still do, is basically we take that optical disk, we put it into our computer, and we create a .iso file of that disk. What that allows us to do in the future is that we can burn new disks on demand. So if if one of my technicians loses the, the uh, the Windows 7 operating system disk, we can just burn a new one. I can burn one for all of my technicians in the office. So we have that one .iso file and from that we can just burn as many uh, disks as we need. So that's a great awesome thing. Well the problem that, that comes about, you know, technology changes, paradigm shift, and now we are using uh, optical disks less and less and less. Not only are we using optical disks less, that unto itself isn't any big deal, but actual manufacturers now are many times not adding optical drives to their computers. So if you go out and buy a MacBook Air, if you go and buy an ultralight computer, or you go out and buy one of these Surface Pros, which is an i5 processor computer, there's no optical drive here. Now what happens if Let's say for your company, you have proprietary software that you install on all the computers and that is contained within a CD or DVD, but your computers no longer have CD or DVD drives. Well, being able to create an ISO file and then mount that ISO file as if it is a drive on the computer allows you to be able to install software from that ISO file or copy files and folders, so on and so forth. So basically, being able to mount an ISO file is just like uh, the equivalent of being able to put a CD or DVD into your computer and be able to run a process from there. Now again, a, like with m many things that I talk about, uh, there, are, there are many different pieces of software that you can use in order to do this. Uh, some have more functionality, some have less functionality, some are free for everybody to use, some cost you some money. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this with something called WinCD Emu. Uh, basically, this allows you to mount an ISO image and again, be able to install software, be able to interact with that ISO image just like it was a CD or DVD actually put into your computer. What I like about WinCD Emu is it's free, so free, especially for you guys, is always a good thing, and it's also portable. So that's nice. So when we talk about portable software, portable software is software that you don't have to install. You can basically just double click and run it and it will go. Why this is very useful, again, you know, us old timers, one of the ways that we saved our, our software CDs is we would create these ISO files and then we would store all those ISO files on a shared drive on the server. Well, the problem is, you know, somebody comes in with their new new Surface Pro. Um, you need to install some piece of proprietary software onto it. The less you have to interact with this, the better. So if you have some kind of portable software, basically you can just double click, you can mount that ISO image, you can do whatever you need, you can unmount it and you can walk away. You don't actually have to install any software on the computer itself. So that can be a very, very, very valuable tool. So let's go over to the computer now so I can show you how this WinCD Emu works for mounting ISO files because it's really just a really great thing. So let's transition over now. 
And as we can see right now, we are at my lab computer. So WinCD EMU, uh, you can find it here, W-I-N-C-D EMU, E-M-U dot sysprogs dot org. So it's a sysprogs uh, website. They have a lot of different products here. And when you come here, you can scroll down and they'll tell you all the different stuff that it does. So one click mounting of ISO, CUE, NRG, MDS, MDF, CCD, IMG, and more. Basically, you go down, it will give you all the information, and one of the nice things about this is free for any kind of use. It is licensed under the LGPL. So again, with you guys being out in the enterprise world, you do have to be careful about uh, about this stuff. You know, don't, don't go into your enterprise using free for home use software in a company with 10,000 employees. That will be all kinds of bad. So if you want to... There, there's two versions of this WinCD EMU program. You can either go to downloads and you can actually download it and install it. So you can actually install this onto your computer so it's always running. Or they make it a little hard to find, but the portable version, so what I like is the portable version. In order to get to that, you actually have to click on this particular link for the portable version. It will bring you here. Then you come down and you look for the link to be able to download it. I would say just use the direct link that's right here. So I click on this direct link. Now it redirects me to another website, but I can just hold on for a second and then it will automatically download the, the, the portable WinCD EMU for me. So that's one thing. A little confusing with this is you're going to get redirected here to SourceForge and you're going to be like, what do I do next? Don't do anything. Just, just don't literally just don't do anything. Um, just wait for it to download. So once it's downloaded, um, basically you can extract it to wherever you want to extract it. So this is the portable version. So it's just right here. Now what I'm going to do is if I go to computer, um, let's see, I'm going to go to my downloads and just show you. So here I have a lot of different stuff, but one of the things that I have is this Ubuntu desktop. So let's say I wanted to take a look in this Ubuntu desktop. Well, right now it's a .iso file, I can't get into it. So what I can do is I can double click on this portable Win Emu, and now this opens up. So from here, I can actually now mount that ISO file. So what I can do is I can go here to mount another image, then it's already in the downloads because I've done this before. I can select the Ubuntu that I want to mount and it'll take a second to mount. And what we can do is we can go down now and we can see that it has mounted that Ubuntu ISO image. So it automatically opened so I can go in and I can start navigating around and taking a look. Um, if this was a piece of software that I want to install, run, I could actually double click and start running it now. So if I double click on Wubi, I can click yes and you can see that this will actually start running just as if this was a CD plugged into my computer. So if I wanted to install Wubi right now, I could do that from this. So it gives me all of that stuff here. Now if I go over, I go to computer, you can see it's been mounted as Drive G. So I'm not sure how many CDs or, or ISO files that, that the Win e, uh, will be able to allow you to, to mount, but it depends upon the software. So some some of the ISO mounting software will allow you to mount like up to 20 drives. Others will allow you to mount eight. It really depends on what you're doing. But that's really all there is to mounting the ISO file. So this is an absolutely uh, wonderful tool, again, for professionals in the real enterprise environment. Because I tell you, right? You know, like I say, I'm, I'm an old guy at 37. I remember how we used to do things. And the one thing that I know about the enterprise world is once things are done in one way, many times it takes years and years and years and years and years before they get changed. So if you have an old timer like me that has a whole collection of .iso files setting somewhere on a shared drive, my guess those ISO files are going to be around for a long time, far longer than CDs or DVDs are going to be around. So being able to use some kind of portable ISO mounting tool allows you to sit down at your client's computer, being able to run the install process, and then go from there. Now, again, as I say, there's many different pieces of, of ISO mounting software out there. This is free and very simple to use and portable.
So that's why I thought you guys would like to look at it. There are other ones out there. Um, there are some that actually cost a little bit of money, but you can do things like actually edit the ISO file. So that might be nice. So you can mount it, but instead of mounting it as a CD, you can actually mount it as if it's just a normal like little flash drive, and you can actually copy and paste data into that ISO file. Now, why would that be useful? Well, imagine, if you're going out and you're installing an uh, operating system, so Windows 7, Windows 8, something like that. Now, when you install Windows 7 or Windows 8, you most likely also install other little applications, other little utilities, antivirus, so on and so forth. Well, normally, you put in your disk, you run the, the operating system uh, installation, you pull out your disk, and then you pull something else out in order to install all these utilities. Well, imagine if you were able to simply put a folder on that operating system disk that had all the utilities in them. So when you got done installing the operating system, you could just go to navigate to that folder and then just start double clicking and installing all of the applications. That would be a very useful thing in some environments. So that's just one thing to think about with mounting the ISO files is there's a lot of different software out there. What you choose to use, Again, you know, as with as geeks, we all have our own, you know, what we like best. You just have to uh, decide what you want to use. But this little tool really is a really great thing and really, really very, very useful. So, uh, so I would suggest you you take a look at it. So this class was how to mount .iso files. As you know, I am Eli, the computer guy. I enjoy teaching this class, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.